I did not show securing the coil. I have found over the years on YouTube, <laughs> whenever I show a video of me securing coils, I get more comments, you did it wrong, that's not the way to do it, and then the comments will contradict each other. Yeah. And this, and this little book right here is your little Bible for your truck drivers, uh, anything concerning the truck load securement. Coil. So you ask a hundred drivers how to secure a coil and you'll get a hundred different answers. All right, good morning. We're over here in Calvert, Alabama. Uh, we're gonna load one coil, 40,000 pounds of stainless steel. Uh, today's video is sponsored by Dorsey Trailers. I believe in them, I own one, I use one, and that's what I'm using right now. If you have any questions or wanna check them out, there's a link down in the comments section to Dorsey Trailers. Um, this I've loaded over here several times and uh, it's actually not that busy today. As you can see and I'm gonna hang on I'm, I know I'm making you dizzy but I'm gonna spin you around this way so you can see all the parking down there they have a lot of parking they do not allow overnight parking here though so um, we'll uh, we'll get loaded it is about nine o'clock in the morning eight o'clock in the morning our appointment is at, at nine but you can check in one hour early so we can go ahead and check in uh, their rules here are very strict on safety have to have your safety glasses have to have a long sleeve shirt long pants and some kind of work shoe or boot no tennis shoes so we're gonna go check in and hopefully we'll get in and out of here sometimes this place I've gotten hung up but uh, hopefully it looks pretty good we should get out of here fairly quickly so talk to you in a bit all right we got all checked in went rather quickly there's not too many trucks here so next thing we got to do is they gave us a little gate pass thing little gate pass thing is we got to go get on the scale and the way it works here is you stick your little gate pass in the uh, little thing and it'll beep and let you in I did drop the axle on the trailer already So one thing I am going to do today, since we're finally going to have a somewhat heavy load, is we're going to stop at a cat scale today and uh, calibrate our scale on the trailer. And we'll also recalibrate the scale on the, uh, the dash for the tractor. I didn't have it all the way in there. Hopefully I did that right. Watch my mirrors, a little tight squeeze in here. So I got my scale ticket and my weight ticket. Now we just gotta drive all the way around to the building around the roundabout and let you guys look real quick and then I'm gonna check back in with you guys once we get over to the other side here because otherwise it's just gonna be a boring ride so if you look straight ahead over there where that trucks pulling on that's the outbound scale so once we're loaded and tarped up we're gonna pull on that scale right there those guys coming out now one thing I am not good at is tarping coils and some of these guys I see when they tarp man I'm like man I wish I could just tarp just half as good as they do sometimes 
But the little area on the right over there, that's where we're going. Once we get the coil on, secure it, we'll come over here and uh, finish tarping, make it look pretty, and then uh, get going. Check, uh, check back in with you guys in a bit. Alright, we uh, got our coil loaded and we're back over here at the uh, pilot truck stop that we spent the night at. We're gonna uh, we're gonna weigh the truck. Now, I know I'm not overweight because when uh, I went through their scale, I think I was 71, 71.2, 71.3, 71,300 pounds. What I want to check is the uh, my little scale on the trailer. I want to calibrate that, and I want to calibrate to make sure my scale in the in the truck is is good. So uh, that is my main reason for weighing. And this is uh, not the first, but the, the, I, I have a heavy load on here. It's my first heavy load that I've had on here since I put that scale on. So I want to be able to. Uh, Calibrate that. Let's see. So we're gonna pull on the scale here, and then we'll go park, and then we'll uh, we'll calibrate it here. So this scale will weigh each axle or each group of axles. So there we go. Yeah, you just gotta hang out the door here. Hang on a second. I'll turn you guys. You can see. Welcome to the ballast box. Fire the rock. First weight. Sounds up. One, two, five, three, two. Okay, come on in. Thank you. Alright, so that's how that works. Pretty straightforward. They, I, I have, people have left a comment about uh, if I had a uh, app for the cat scales. I don't weigh enough at the cat scales to really get an app. I honestly don't go through the cat scales that much, actually. Uh, I just, uh, unless I load somewhere that they really just don't know what the weight is. Most of the time, everybody that I load at is pretty good about what their weight is. And I can always tell off my little scale, especially this one here, of how heavy I am. So, alright. Let me find a spot. We'll get parked. A little quiet spot, maybe. We'll get parked and uh, take a look at this. So, talk to you in a bit. Alright, we got our weight ticket. Um, before I go outside and... Uh, uh, calibrate the thing. I did not show securing the coil. I have found over the years on YouTube <laughs> whenever I show a video of me securing coils I get more comments you did it wrong that's not the way to do it and then the comments will contradict each other and this and that. The same rules apply to securing a coil as any other load. You have to have at least 50% of the securement for the for the weight. So if I have a 40,000 pound coil, I have to have at least 20,000 pounds of securement. So that is the working load limit of each piece of securement it has to equal more than equal to 20,000 pounds for a 40,000 pound coil. Now, this little book right here is your little Bible for your truck drivers, uh, anything concerning the truck load securement. So, what I recommend is that if you have any questions about securing a coil and the way the coil should be, is go to the little safety regulations, the little green book, and you want to go to section 393.120 and scroll through there and there's actually a paragraph that says, securement of transportation excuse me securement of coils transported with eyes crossways on a flatbed vehicle that means to the side what they call suicide so uh, the same rules apply as load securement 
Now there's a, a couple little things in there. It talks about you have to have a minimum 45 degree angle on the chains and you have to have, or no more, let's see what's this say here. I don't wanna, no more than 45 degree angle on the chains. Um, and you, chains can't cross. So if you have a chain securing, pulling forward, that same chain cannot secure the other side pulling backwards. That's what they mean by don't cross the chains. So anyway, go to this book if you have any questions on how to secure a coil. You ask 100 drivers how to secure a coil and you'll get 100 different answers. I've got guys that tell me, oh, you gotta use five coil racks. You gotta use six coil racks. Nothing in here says how many coil racks you have to use. It says that you have to secure the coil, cannot touch the trailer, and it has to have wood bracing. And coil racks are not load rated. So anyway, enough of that. Um, so here's our scale ticket, and we're actually we're actually a little heavy. I don't know if it'll show up in the camera, but uh, we're at 12,160 pounds on the front, on the front axle. And I got, th I got three quarters of a tank of fuel. Is that right? Yeah. So um, a gallon of fuel weighs about seven pounds. So what's that, uh, 20, 20 gallons? We'll burn off a little 21, 22 gallons, somewhere around there. That'll uh, that'll get us lighter on the front. But other than that, we're doing pretty good. So we got uh, 28,960 on the drives and 30,080 pounds on the trailer. So uh, we're uh, distributed the weight pretty good that way. Now, I'm gonna start the truck up. I'll make sure we got good full tanks of air and uh, make sure the trailer release the brakes and uh, make sure everything is level and then we'll we'll set everything so talk in a bit okay we've got the little camera out here so right now if it shows up let's see here if you can see it i'm trying to get it to where you guys can see so it's sitting right at about twenty nine thousand pounds right there so that that scale right there is for the drives and if we look on here, you can see the the weight. That's the drive axle right there, right at 29,000. So that one's pretty good. So let's go out and take a look at the trailer. Oh boy. So this is what we got here. So what I have under that tarp I got two 3H chains pulling backwards, two 3H chains pulling forward, and one strap right in the center. So we are well covered over for the weight. So anyway, all right. Like I said, I get more comments. Not that I did it wrong. Everybody has their own way of loading coils. And coils is the one thing that I get more people to say, oh, you didn't do it right, you don't do it right. I did it by the rules. But I think everybody has their own little way of doing coils. Or if you were at a company and a company had specific ways that they wanted to do it. So, uh, but anyway, I'm not going to get too carried away that. Let's see here. Let's crawl under here and take a look. What did I say? 30,000 pounds. All right. So, pull this little valve here. And that will come up. So it's about uh, right at 20. So let's go ahead. Oh, I got to change the screwdriver. Hang on. Okay, I had to get a little smaller screwdriver. There we go. So let's see here. So we want it to go up to 30. So we'll set it right there. So it's sitting right at 30. Let's go ahead and empty it out. So you push this little button in and empties the pressure that's on that scale gauge right there. pop this button here and it's sitting right at 30 so we've calibrated that so the way this works is it 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 measures the air pressure in the airbags and all you got to do is tie into one airbag because theoretically if everything's working correctly under there the, the airbags all the airbags have the same amount of air pressure in them so but so when I load coils I always put the center of the coil, this is the center of the coil right here. I always put the center of the coil just a little bit behind center. And uh, when I was over at Dorsey, 
uh, I had them uh, upgrade the coil package on here so uh, they uh, they added more cross members in the back back there because like I said I like to haul my coils just a little back from center so I had them upgrade the uh, the uh, like an extended coil package that I think is what they called it. So, so anyway, that uh, that covers that. Oh man, tarping didn't to do bad. It does puff out a little bit in the center. I am not a good tarper for coils, but other than that, it looks like it might ride pretty good. So it's looking pretty good there. All right. Um, we're not gonna get much road footage today. There's too many bugs out here. Um, it's hot. We're gonna make it up to Dodge City, uh, Alabama, by Coleman, Alabama. Uh, big Petra up there that I really like. I need a shower. So that's the plan.